27-year-old fireman Billy first met 23-year-old development executive Steph four years ago in a local nightclub. And it was a pickup she'll never forget. First night we met, looked around the dance floor, there was Billy swinging his top around, just falling all over the music. What did I tell you that night? You actually did say, I'm going to marry you one day. I'm going to say it. And here we are. Here we are. <laughs> yeah. Billy's naked ambition eventually paid off, and after three years, he proposed. Although they're not quite an obvious match. We're completely different. Everything's like a bit of a joke to him, and I'm a bit more kind of reserved. It's kind of like having a child to look after, really. <laughs> I'm not that bad. <laughs> they might both be born and bred in, well, Mansfield Woodhouse. But for Billy, this isn't just a town in Nottinghamshire. It's the centre of his universe. I love Mansfield Woodhouse. Everyone knows everyone. The community is second to none. There's a lot of pubs, always helps. I definitely do not share his love for Woodhouse. And they call him Billy Babby Woodhouse, which I absolutely hate. <laughs> if he goes into a pub, he plays the role of being the joker all the time. <laughs> so sometimes I have to reel him back in and bring him back down to reality, really. And in reality, it's not just Billy that has a special nickname. They call Steph my little piggy. Little piggy? To her face? First few times we met up, it was just like, oh, she's going to take you out for some food, and then one day she kind of just says, I feel like a right little piglet. Stuck, didn't it? Yeah, it's kind of stuck. Everyone's like, why is your fiancé calling you that? I'm like, no, it's a nice thing. Like, he doesn't mean it in a bad way. But, yeah, if he sees anything pig-related, he'll bite me, little pig ornaments and things, and he just thinks I like it, which is... It's a bit strange, but it's his loving way, I suppose. If you say so. And this little piggy has a very romantic notion for her special day. The single most important thing is the setting, and, like, a nice ceremony, and it all be quite chilled. I'd want everything to, like, refer to our relationship and not just be there as, like, a joke or something funny. I'd want everything to, like, have a meaning. This is the one time, like, I don't actually want you to be funny. I don't want you to do something stupid. I want, like, a serious day. So that's my main worry, that it's just going to be a joke. Don't worry. It's going to be fine. Hmm. He's pulling your tail because Billy also wants his day to have a special meaning. And he wants his bride to hog the limelight. Because of our love for pigs, I've kind of thought I'd love to be able to just have a pig theme wedding. What? Have it amongst a lot of pigs on a pig farm. Eh? The more pigs are merry. I'm sure Steph would like that. Mm. Bridesmaids could even end up with pig onesies on if I can find them at right price. He's always known for being the joke, so I think everybody will expect him to do something funny, and I just hope he can show a sensible side. Here's hoping. But this piggy wedding has another twist in the tail, because Billy wants to put his beloved Woodhouse on the map. Think about trying to break a world record for the amount of pigs that we actually have at the wedding. I might be the only person in Mansfield Woodhouse that's actually a world record order, which is uh, something to be proud of, I'm sure. A world record certificate and a marriage certificate all on the same day. This little piggy may just go all the way home. So I'm doing this to prove to not just Steph, but all lads as well. I'm not just a village idiot. I'm actually quite a smart guy and I can pull something like this off. Yeah, that'll show them. Yeah.